Good morning. Today we will discuss density based methods. It is one of the cluster analysis method. Density based clustering refers to unsupervised learning method. See when we have a, a data points, the data points will be located in different different places. In some region you will have maximum uh, data points. In some other places we have uh, less density data points. So based on the density of the data points, the cluster will be identified and will be categorized. Okay. And the same thing it is given over here. It identifies distinctive groups of clusters in the data based on region of the high density separated from the from other from other low density clusters. And cluster clustering here it is based on a density such as density connected points. Density based clustering algorithm has played in a vital role in finding non-linear shapes or structure based on the density. So here based on the density of the uh, data points only we are going to have a, a cluster. So that time the cluster will have a non-linear shape. Okay. So uh, the density based in clustering algorithm has a vital role uh, has played a vital role in finding non-linear shape structure based on the density. Density based spatial clustering of applications with the noise is the most widely used density based algorithm. There we are using two concepts. One is density reachability, another one is density connectivity. Here we can take this cluster. There we have a limited number of data points. Here comparatively we have high density cluster have more data points. Here we have more number of data points. So comparatively this is high density. Comparatively this is a high density. So the clusters can be formed based on the density uh, density of the data points. And the major features over here is discover clusters of arbitrary shape. So the shape may be anything, the shape will be identified and handles noise. Then here you can have only one scan that is sufficient. And it need density parameters as termination condition. Okay. So how uh, here the clusters will be formed based on the density. So we should know uh, how the density can be measured. So density parameter must be um, uh, must be known over here. And there are two parameters over here is the epsilon and the minimum points. The epsilon is, is nothing but maximum radius of the neighborhood. Minimum point is nothing but minimum number of points in the epsilon neighborhood of that point. See for example, if you choose Mm, you just have to remove this circle then if you look at uh, over here there will be a number of data points uh, so you arbit arbitrarily you can choose one data point you can name this a q from this you have minimum uh, maximum radius okay and you can create the circle and within the circle uh, if you follow if you find um, minimum number of uh, points that is minimum number of points is 5 here you should have minimum 5 or more than that. Uh, by that, this will be um, sufficient for creating or uh, forming cluster. Once of the Q point having um, uh, minimum points, then the Q point will be uh, defined as a core point. Okay. So, uh, same way you can choose another point. From there, if you take a minimum, uh, the maximum radius, if you form the circle, Okay, there you can check whether this point P is going to satisfy the uh, minimum points. See here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <coughs> so if it is satisfying, then you can create a cluster over here. And with respect to this Q, it is a neighbor point. And here it is reachable. Here this, this is a cluster, this is another cluster. This both clusters are um, identified based on the density. So here the P is uh, reachable from Q. Uh, P is directly density reachable. The P is here, the P is directly density reachable from point Q with respect to epsilon. Epsilon here is one centimeter. And 
what do you mean by density reachable and density connected if in uh, density reachable means a point p is a density reachable from point q with respect to epsilon minimum point if there is a chain of points p1 and so on so pn and p1 equal to q and pn equal to p such that pi plus 1 is directly density reachable from pi see for example here you are going to take q as a point with this q point you can you are going to create a uh, circle so you are going to form a uh, cluster and same way with the p1 if you can you can have another circle and same way the p you can have another circle so everywhere the minimum points must be satisfied minimum point is 5 so if you count this point you must have minimum 5 points 5 data points <coughs> and same way uh, for p1 as well as p here with respect to q uh, p1 is the uh, reachable from q and with respect to p1 p is the reachable to p1 uh, reachable in the sense density reachable so these are all the nearest one and these are these are the points are connected same way in other diagram density connected here uh, uh, the o here is o o is the um uh, data point which is um, which is a core point uh, from here you have another another point another point q and from here you have another point p so with respect to o p and q are uh, density connected density connected point and directly reachable density reachable uh, with respect to o okay. this is nothing but density connected and here you can see uh, dps cn that is the density based spatial clustering of applications with noise uh, here we have a uh, number of data points for data points we are going to identify uh, some of the point see if you choose any one of the point if you uh, form the cluster the cluster if it is satisfying the minimum points then the selected point will be called as the core point okay with this point you can take a maximum radius that is 1 cm you can form the uh, uh, cluster and then if you count this uh, point if it is satisfying this minimum points 5 or greater than uh, 5 then this selected point will be called as core point and another cluster see here you are going to select this point okay. with this you are going to take a maximum uh, mini maximum radius then you can draw the circle mm. then if you count this uh, points it is not going to satisfy uh, this minimum points so you have even though you have uh, data points it is not satisfying the minimum point so it, this will be called as border point mm. so if you have border points then there will be no density directly directly density reachable uh, point mm. the another one here you are going to select this point here you have number of data points here you have number of data points but if you select this data point which is far away from this group and then in the same way if you try to create a cluster over here and you have to check this minimum point is there any data points over there uh, in this circle or not if there is no um a data point over here then this with this data point we may not be able to create a uh, what, uh, cluster so this will be considered as the outlier that is noise it is a noise point okay. now dpsc cn algorithms here um, arbitrarily select a point p first of all okay. and first you have to select a uh, data point then you can name it a p and retrieve all points density reachable all points density reachable from from p which you have selected when p with respect to epsilon and minimum points so there you have to choose the maximum radius as well as the condition must satisfy the minimum points if p is a core point you know very well the condition for core point if p is a core point and cluster is form <coughs> if p is a border point then no points are density reachable 
I told you. Okay. So P is a border point. Then, uh, then means what? It is not satisfying the minimum point. So no points are density reachable from P. And D P S C A N visit the next point of the database. So automatically it will go for a next data point and continue the process until all the points have been processed. So these are the way to um, identify groups or cluster using uh, DPS CIN algorithm. And here you can take this as a diagram uh, with this. The minimum point is here 4 and epsilon is uh, 0.5. If it is ready, if the radius is a 0.5, then this will be like this. The diagram will be like that. If you reduce the point, if you reduce the point, 0.5 to 0.4, if you do, uh, then you will be able to get uh, some more uh, uh, data points that will create another clusters. See the blue color clusters. Mm. So means if you reduce the uh, epsilon or radius, uh, then you will be able to have more uh, more clusters. Same here. Mm, results of the list. Minimum point is 4, uh, minimum point is 4 and uh, epsilon at uh, 5. If it is 5.0, this will be like this. And uh, even though you have uh, other color uh, data point, you may not be able to uh, uh, see that. Then if you uh, reduce this uh, reduce to 3.5, then you will be able to get uh, this many colors. And again, if you try to, uh, if you reduce this uh, reduce to 3 then you will be able to get more and more uh, density based clusters optics optics is the one ordering points to identify the clustering structure here uh, we have data points all the data points will be ordered by that we will be able to uh, identify the, the shape of the um, cluster or the structure of the cluster. It, it will produce a special order of the database with respect to uh, its density based clustering structure. This cluster ordering contains information equivalent to the density based uh, clustering corresponding to a broad range of parameters settings. So this, um, this optics will give you some information that will be equivalent to density based clustering uh, information. It is good for both automatic as well as uh, interactive cluster analysis, which including uh, finding intrinsic clustering, intrinsic clustering structure. It can be represented graphically or using visualization uh, technique. And see here, you have a number of uh, data points. With these data points, you can uh, form a cluster over here. In this, uh, there you have a data point. With this data point to border, the distance will be uh, uh, defined as D that is a um, radius radius and here any one of the uh, data point can be defined as uh, O uh, O from this you can you can find out P another data point P1 another data point P2 so by knowing this P1 and P2 um, you can see the order you can see you will be able to see the out of the data point by that we can see the cluster shape or cluster cluster structure and here you can see uh, this epsilon value these are epsilon values so if you have um, a maximum epsilon value then uh, then the cluster number of clusters will be um, reduced and if you have if you reduce this uh, radius the epsilon value then automatically will be getting more clusters so here it will be getting more clusters here it is a more cluster why because of the real value will be um, uh, comparatively uh, low so when you have low epsilon value then you will be getting more clusters it is density based clusters mm -hmm. these are the density based clustering uh, optics and its applications so here we can see these are all the uh, data points where everywhere it is ordered it is a p it is a o it is a q there is some order by that you will be able to uh, see the structure of the uh, cluster these will be applied uh, in different applications for image processing or image compressions 
these are all the major features